What's going on you guys? It's your boy George. Welcome back to my channel. Um, today's video is going to be on how I document my projects. Um, documentation is very important. Not only is it good for you as far as tracking your uh, progress and just uh, your projects uh, for yourself, but obviously it's great for showing off for showing off to uh, recruiters and hiring hiring managers um, as somebody who is still transitioning into the tech space specifically the cloud devops sysad, sysadmin all that stuff um, this is a way to build trust and build um, um, yeah just building trust and it's just showcasing what you've worked on and just giving your potential uh, new job or whoever trust that you can actually do and learn and provide uh, not just good feedback but provide value to a company so today I'm gonna be showing you guys um, I'm, I'm gonna have the screen recording up as you can see um, I use a platform called medium medium is pretty much a blog site that uh, many people not just in tech but outside of tech use to just write about the things they're passionate about and as, as it relates to tech it's, it's great because it allows you to write about the things that you learn, uh, provide tutorials, guides, and this is what I use. I know many others in the field use it. There's Medium. Um, there's GitHub, which is very important, very very popular and important. And I there's another there's another uh, how do I say it? there's another platform called I think Dev. Dev. I'm not too familiar with it, but Medium, GitHub, and Dev. Um, pretty much, it doesn't matter which one you use. They all practically allow you to do the same thing. As long as you're able to take what you've learned to study and put it into a documented process, um, you know, it, it, it gets the job done. So, um, I use Medium. Again, like I said, it's important to document your journey, document everything that you learn because it adds to your portfolio and um, it just makes you stand out more. So without project documentation, especially someone as as somebody who is new, you know, it's 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 you're not gonna get much luck. So today I'm gonna show you on my screen, and um, as you can see here, these are examples of um, you know how Medium works. So as you can see on my screen, these are some of the people that I follow. Um, and you know what, let me just show you how to get to it. So, um, like I said, I use a platform called Medium and I'll put all this in the description of this video. So it's called Medium. And actually, and you can see here where good ideas find you. Medium is an open platform where readers can find dynamic reading and experts can lend out their voices. Like I said, I use this, so this is how I, how I uh, go about it. Let's click on that and let me show you what my portfolio looks like just so you get a good idea of what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go to my profile and this is what a medium profile looks like and this is what mine looks like. You can see my name and picture right here, my bio, all the people that I follow and then you can see my titles here, DevOps engineer, cloud engineer and yeah as I scroll down you can see all of the blog articles that I've written, they're all related to the projects and things that I've built and learned. And this is uh, an example of what a portfolio look like. You know, you want to showcase what you're learning over time, and that helps you, you know, build trust and build your portfolio. So I have at least 20 art part projects documented here. You can see here on my screen, I have how to create a AWS three tier architecture. I did this project back last year, Bobby. Wow, yeah, a year ago. It's crazy how time flies. But you can see here what a normal project documentation on Medium looks like. You can see it here on my screen. So I pretty much did this as a step by step guide, and it's designed to help. Uh, whether you're novice and even more experienced 
engineers and of course recruiters and hiring managers see what I'm working on then that way they know that I'm actually learning over time and I'm documenting that process so yep I hear my screenshots I have everything I've written down and um, yeah as you can see look I have my screenshots step-by-step -step process of everything that I've done um, let's go check out my other ones all right, I have a project on Terraform. And then again, as you can see, I have everything broken down, what you need. And yeah. Again, step-by-step -step guide and screenshots that I've actually taken. And the would, Based on everything that I've learned, I would build a project based on that, and then I would take screenshots as I go through each uh, part of the project, and then I would do a write-up on it. You know, it's pretty, it's pretty, uh, I wouldn't say simple, it's pretty self-explanatory, but um, as you work on more projects that are more complex, the documentation is going to be much more needed and much more tedious. So um, that's something I'm learning as a new uh, engineer transitioning in, like project documentation is crucial. Like it's, you're gonna be doing that from the start of your career to forever. All the more experienced higher level engineers that I've spoken to, they all say the same thing and I'm seeing it each and every single day. And um, yeah, so yeah, medium. And again, like it's, as you can see, I have more projects down below. Again, right up, me actually typing it out. You know, I have my screenshots just so people can see what I'm working on. You know what I mean? And yeah, pretty self-explanatory, so on and so forth. And now let me show you my GitHub. I, I mainly use GitHub to showcase code that I've done. So like scripts, Terraform, Python, things of that nature that I have experience with, that's what I mainly use GitHub for. And just, uh, you know, if I see a repository that I like, you know, I, I fork it and um, yeah. But again, like I said, the whole purpose of these platforms is to document and share as well as uh, collaboration because as engineers, that's what you're gonna be doing. So you guys can see my GitHub here. I have my profile set up. It's always good to have your profile set up to where it shows that you're actually serious about learning and you're serious about showing whatever it is. So, and um, yeah, so here's my profile. You can see myself here. And then I have a little description here and here are my repositories. You can see my GitHub contributions. And then you can see all the latest activity here. And yeah, so it works the same way. Let me show you some of my repositories. And then here I have a, a repo containing all of my Medium GitHub projects. And then people can come here and click around and see what I'm actually working on. And then let me show you Terraform. And then I have another repo containing some of my code. And then, yeah, so again, like I said, Medium, GitHub, and I think .dev. Um, these are just some examples of um, platforms that you can use to document, or you can do what I'm doing also creating videos, um, putting it on YouTube, LinkedIn. These are all ways of project documentation. Um, it's 2023, we're in a time where, you know, doing things outside the box is what's helping, you know, you stand out. And yeah, whatever way you can do to showcase that, that's all that matters. GitHub, Medium, YouTube, whatever medium you wanna use, make sure that it's, you're putting it on record and you are um, going from there. So I hope this video helps you guys out. I hope I didn't ramble too much. Um, all of this is new to me. 
So um, again, the whole process, the whole purpose of these videos is to just showcase my perspective on things, what I'm learning, and hopefully I can get back to you guys out there in the real world. And hopefully whoever's watching this in the future can benefit from this and uh, hopefully I get value. But again, um, I think that's it. Again, this purpose of the video was to showcase how I document my projects and the different platforms that you can use to do the same. All right, y'all. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you guys can, please hit that like button, subscribe, um, leave a comment. And um, yeah, just thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.